I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, the area near Grant Sawyer building has been declared safe by authorities. A suspicious item was found at the building during a 9-11 memorial event that was part of a lead up to the 20th anniversary happening this September. This all began to unfold around noon. Police shut down nearby streets while a bomb squad looked into the item. Roads are now back open, but still no word on what that suspicious item actually was. Dieter says it has updated the PUA system and will require claimants to take a few extra steps when filing a new or continued claim. Federal law requires that states verify identity to protect legitimate claimants. PUA claimants can verify their identity online through ID.me and should follow directions as noted through an email message and or link provided through their claimant account. Well, we now know when the Las Vegas Lights will have their home opener for this season. The team posting on social media this morning that they will have their home opener on Saturday, June 5th. The Lights will take on the Tacoma Defiance at Cashman Field. Danny. Scattered showers have wrapped up, but the wind speed is still quite gusty and expect those gusty winds through the remainder of your Tuesday night with very chilly temperatures just in the 50s. Gusts approaching 30 to 40 miles per hour, but even the cloud cover clears late tonight, which means a sunny start to your Wednesday before the cloud cover returns tomorrow evening. We'll start tomorrow morning with very windy conditions as well. The wind speeds weaken after lunchtime with temperatures topping out in the upper 60s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds through the remainder of the week with plenty of sunshine and much warmer temperatures expected this weekend. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.